to the Be Nerdy Booktube channel. I'm Sophia and this is my Newt's TBR. So, as you guys know, I did my owls back in April with everyone else and I actually managed to read all 12 books for the owls. Well, now in the Newt's I am pursuing the aura career and for that I need an O in Defense Against the Dark Arts I need a E in Charms, I need an E in Potions, an A in Herbology, and an A in Transfiguration. Now, I'm Ravenclaw, so go Ravenclaw! And this means that in total I need to read 9 books. I'm trying to double up with uh, the other readathon that I'm doing, the Disney readathon. If the video is up, I'll link it down below. If not, just stay tuned because it will be going up eventually. Uh, but yeah, so I did this beautiful spread for my bullet journal. If you guys want to see it up close, if it's up, I'll link my August flip through down below. If not, I'll just insert a bigger picture here. But yeah, so starting with Defense Against the Dark Arts, the prompt for the A it is book that's black under the dust jacket and we're doing a Harry Potter readathon and I just got for my birthday the 20th anniversary edition so I'm going with Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone this is the 20th anniversary edition in the Ravenclaw blah, 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 in the Ravenclaw colors so it's basically black and blue the dust jacket is black under the dust jacket it's black and the spine has like blue metallic thingies so I thought it was appropriate and yes I was reading it with a friend but reading it by chapters is not the same as binge reading it and since I do have this gorgeous new edition I want to crack into it and yes I do like my books with the spines cracked if I'm the one cracking them if someone else cracks my book spines I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna crack their spine. But if it's me, it's fine. I'm not cracking my own spine unless I actually need to because it's uncomfortable and I need to crack it. Otherwise, it's completely fine if it's me. The prompt for the E, it is first book that comes to mind. And when I was watching the video, I was actually on the uh, Dumbledore's Army Discord and Everyone was talking about my thoughts before I started watching the video. So, clearly, the first book that came to mind was My Thoughts by Stephen Fry. And yes, it's blue. It's it's to be with my house colors. But this is a book written by a comedian, Stephen Fry, counting the stories of every single like Greek mythology tale. It's basically the timeline of the Greek mythology tales, like all compiled and everything. And I got this book in May, like the end of May, the beginning of June. And you have the story, the normal story, and then you have like photos of the temples or some pictures of the tales and everything. And I heard it has an audiobook, so I may be switching between the physical copy and the audiobook but I'm really 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 into Greek mythology and so this is a great choice. Now for the third and final grade which is outstanding I need to read a book that's by an English author or set in England and I was like hmm I'm reading Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone I have the other book in the same collection why not just do both and I'm reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling J.K. Rowling is British this is technically set in Scotland because Hogwarts is in Scotland but there are scenes in Privet Drive which is in the Surrey which is in England so it's kind of in England and if that's not enough for you J.K. Rowling is British so I'm doing both the things that I need for the outstanding Going to charms and to actually please my house headmaster, Professor Flitwick, I need to get an E in charms and so for the A I need to read a book that I think has a gorgeous cover 
and I've been putting this in my last two TBRs, three TBRs. I want to reread this series, okay? And the paperback covers are absolutely gorgeous. The hardbacks are too, but they're too dark for my taste. And I'm talking about Three Dark Crowns by Kendera Blake. Uh, the paperback covers are these ones with the little uh, crowny thingy and the red letters and the red spine. The other uh, covers are like all dark and I know it has some flowers over three crowns and it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. I like this more because it's colorful and it's red, it's cute. But I talked about it this enough but Three Dark Crowns were following three sisters that's Catherine, uh, Mirabella and Arsinoe. They are twins, they're triplets and they were born in an island which is matriarchal but they were separated when they were six years old each to their own part of the island because each of them has a unique power. Arsinoe is an, a naturalist, Catherine is a poisoner and Mirabella is a, an elementalist. So naturalists can actually control nature like making flowers grow and such and um, Poisoners can ingest and create deadly poisons, like the poisoners can actually ingest like a large quantity of the deadliest poisons you can find. And the elementalists can control the elements, but they actually have an affinity to one which makes them stronger while controlling that element. So they were separated when they were six, but when they turn 16 they must fight to the death until only one remains to be the queen of the island and to be the next mother of the triplets. And that's kind of how this all starts. There's a lot more politics involved, there is a lot more plot going in, but you should just read this. If you want to read this, beware that Three Dark Crowns is a bit descriptive and it is a bit slow because it is a setup book. So going in, you know the characters, you know the island, you know the politics, you know the families. You just know. You just get to know. There's no, uh, there's not a lot of action. I think the most action we get is meeting the consorts here. And but uh, yeah, so just beware going in because I hear a lot of people saying that, oh, this is boring. Like the plot is so good, but it's so boring. Like I know. I know, but this is a quartet. There's four books in it. If you think about it, maybe the first book is boring just so you don't get info dumped like later on on the game and that you don't spend half the game thinking what the hell is going on. And I think it, it is really well done and I get really really mad when people say it's boring like oh yes it's the first book in a series it's freaking boring I'm just gonna DNF it like please stick out because the other two books are even better. Just please. Next up for my E, I need to read a comic, manga or a graphic novel and I'm actually reading Check Please, uh, which is a webcomic and I don't know about what. Honestly, uh, this was recommended to me yesterday at a birthday party. We were just talking about books and everything. And this girl said, well, I read this webcomic, it's really cute, you should read it too. And I'm like, hmm, I have a prompt for a comic, maybe it's, it's, I'm onto something, maybe that's it. But if I'm not really into check please or anything, I am reading Lament of the Lamb, which I have the manga over there, but it's like under a lot of books, so I didn't take it out not to destroy my shelves but it's about a sis uh, like a girl and her parents just died and she's living in the house I think with her aunt and uncle but she gets this strange messages or something I know it's about vampires at some point and I got really intrigued when I got the manga but I only have the first volume so I want to reread the first volume and then see if I can actually find the second one and the third one and continue the story if it pleases me. Going on to potions, Professor Snape is not kidding around and you know it and well we're Ravenclaws, he doesn't have really a grudge against us but if you're a Gryffindor, 
Look out. So for your A, you need to read a friend's favorite book. And for this, I have chosen Six of Crows by Lee Barrulo. But I'm only reading this if I can finish Ruin and Rising first. So if it's not Six of Crows, it's going to be Ruin and Rising. One of these is going into this category. Now, um, the person who recommended me this, like I've heard this recommendation from a lot of people, okay? And they say they love the Grishaverse in general. So Grishaverse in general means I can choose one of these. If I can get both into this category, great. If not, I'm counting Ruin and Rising. Well, even though I really, really want to get into Six of Crows, but I'm really scared because of the hype. For the E in Potions, I have to read a book with my house colors on the cover. Now, my house colors are blue and silver, and for that I have Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Maas. This is book number six in the Throne of Glass series. And as you can see, there's gray, like, it's not sparkly, but it's like reflective gray and blue all over the cover and I'm considering Ravenclaw colors. I mean, can you get a more Ravenclaw TBR? Like, there, there's blue in almost every single book and then there's red because I like fire and cute and Gryffindor guys usually are cute. Now that I have passed my most extensive exams, I'm going into the ones that I only need an acceptable. So going into Herbology, I need to listen to an audiobook. Now for this I have many options and I don't know which one I'll be following. But yeah, so my first option is The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I need to read it for the Disneyathon. It would be a great way to double up. Don't ask me what the story is about because I don't know. Second option, it's going to be The Diviners by Libra Bray. I know this is a YA magical realism paranormal horror story. I know it's about a girl and she goes to live with her uncle and her uncle has like a paranormal uh, thingy, like business. And then she releases a spirit and suddenly like people start coming up dead. I don't know. It sounds really good to me. Zoe from Red by Zoe said the audiobook is absolutely amazing, so I may just try that out. Or option number three is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I was supposed to read this last month because we are doing a read along of the Shadowhunter universe. This is gonna be a reread for me. So fitting this into an audiobook would be good. If not, I'm still trying to read it, as well as City of Ashes. So I'm gonna try and read those two as well. I don't know, there's a lot of options for this category and that can actually change. Imagine that getting to the day, I feel like listening to the Murderbot Diaries and that's actually something that I wanna hear. So I may just listen to the Murderbot Diaries or imagine that I want to read Finale, because I need to finish the Caraval series. I can read Finale as well. Or imagine that I want to hear Aurora Rising. I could go there too. I don't know. It's an open plane. Last category and last subject is going to be Transfiguration, in which I only need an acceptable, and that is read a book with LGBTQ QIA plus representation and for this I'm reading Aristotle and Dante uh, Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I'm probably gonna listen to it as an audiobook because Zoe said it was a great audiobook but if I'm not reading that one and I'm keeping my options open I want to read Girls of Paper and Fire by um, Natasha Ng. I think it's her because uh, I heard there is a lesbian couple there, or, or, I'm going with Cersei by Madeline Miller, because I heard a lot of good things about this, and it's actually a very short book, so it's a great option for a readathon. And this, my friends, is my possible TBR for the newts. 
be aware that this might change. I am in a reading mood where I'm actually in a mood. Like if I don't want to read something, I don't read it. And yes, I have failed the Book Junkie Trials because of that mood because I didn't want to read Stardust and I didn't read Stardust because I didn't feel like reading Stardust. So this may change completely when we get to my new uh, grades, but we'll see about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and click the bell because, you know, my posting schedule isn't always the same. Also, leave me down below your recommendations for audiobooks and for uh, mangas, comics or uh, graphic novels because those are the categories that I'm most likely to be changing or 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 send me also your recommendations for uh, LGBTQIA plus uh, representation because it's always good to have representation and to have more books about it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!